Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brandon Robles and today I will be talking about how to set up your Turbo Lister to start listing your items on Amazon. So as we walk through this software, I will be only showing you the features that I use and that you need to get through this process. There are other cool features to use, but this is just the stuff that I use to get my books in. So once you have your software downloaded, this is the screen that you're going to be seeing. This is where you're going to be listing your books and I'll go into that further. But in order to set your software up, we're going to go up to the top right where you see menu. You're going to select that and you're going to hit settings. And here you're going to plug in all of your information. Uh, the top left, this is what you set your A seller tool up for. This is the name you chose for your user ID and the password you chose. This is how they link your accounts together so they know who it is. The next step you're going to do, you're going to look right here to Amazon Marketplace. You're going to want to select Amazon.com to let them know you're selling in within the United States. Or if you're not from the United States, you select Canada or you select the UK. The next thing you're going to fill out is your seller ID. It's a unique code that is specifically for your Amazon store and you'll find it if you go to the Amazon seller account, there's a little link as you see here. You click that, it'll bring you exactly to where you need to be. You just copy and you paste it right into here and that will link your Amazon store with the Turbo Lister. The next thing you're looking for is your fulfillment channel. Um, you can use Turbo Lister for Merchant Fulfilled which is selling from home or FBA when you're sending it into an Amazon warehouse. If you're doing FBA, obviously you're gonna select this one. That's what I use. Um, I will usually just list Merchant Fulfilled from my phone, but I'm sure this is a great way to list a lot of them. The final thing that you will need to fill out is the ship from address. This is just all your basic information. Once you fill this out, they will be able to see where it's coming from, and if it is lost, it can be rerouted back to you so you don't lose that inventory. All right, so once you have all that information filled out, don't click the X button up here. You're gonna to wanna to go to the bottom left and click save. All right, the next step in this process is you're gonna to go to menu at the top right once again, and you're gonna go down to printer. This is for if you have a Dymo label printer, if you will be labeling your own books. This will allow you to identify which kind of printer you have. Um, right here, you'll see printer. I had the Dymo Label Writer 450. You might have something else, but you select the printer you have. For the paper size, that is just the size of your label that you will be using to sticker on your books. Just select the correct one. And the final thing on this screen is auto print. Auto print is whenever you scan in a book, list it for the price and click submit. It'll automatically pop out a label for that specific book so there's no confusion and you can keep organized when you're listing your books. And also if you need to see if everything's working, you can click test print and it'll pop out a label if it's working correctly. Once again, click save once you've updated all this stuff and you should be good to go. All right, the final thing you'll need in the menu screen is note. Click on note. This will bring you to a screen that you can customize the descriptions you have for each condition of book or even item that you're selling. At the top, you'll see all, or you can create other options. I created book as I do send in books. You can create different presets based on your category. Obviously, I sell books, so I created a book one. You can create DVDs, you can create video games, whichever ones you want that say different things for each condition. Through here, you will be able to write your own descriptions and link them to whatever condition of book you have. As you see here on my screen, I have this book is in like new condition and I have it linked to like new, booking very good, very good. And it goes on um, for each condition I have, I have a specific detail that I want to mention whenever I select it. To create a new description, you're gonna see on the bottom left, it says new. So you can say, you know, like my one that I had, this book is in like new condition, period, right? So once you have that clicked, you're gonna select like new, um, and then you're gonna select the category, obviously book. Once you do that, you're gonna click okay, and that'll upload a new description. Um, and so you can do this multiple times, again, if it has writing, highlighting, whatever it is, if it contains media or doesn't contain media, you can upload that and customize it however you want. I thought this was a really useful tool to use. It'll really save you a lot of time. You click OK. I'm not going to click OK because you already have it, but you would click OK to upload it. And the last thing you will do, it should say save right here. You'll click save and it should upload everything so you're ready to go. Once you do that, you'll have a screen like mine where every time you click, you know, very good, good, 
acceptable like new. It will show different details for each and every one. And even this screen has a lot of customization as well. Let's say you have a book that's very good, but you don't even want to mention that there is media because that book doesn't even come with media. You can deselect and it'll automatically remove it. If the book doesn't have a remainder mark, again, you can deselect it. Or if you wanted, in order, let's say it has minor water damage. I would never list a book very good for minor water damage, but if it did, you can click that, click this, and then click that, and it'll go in order. You can deselect and select whichever details you would like to include on that book. You can also even go down to this little box at the bottom and type whatever you want. If you want to add a little extra something. So I don't know if it's a specific thing on a book, you can type it out and have it right there ready to go. So if you've checked out my other videos on the process of how I do my shipments, you'll be able to see that Workflow C is the perfect one. You're gonna be cleaning your books and sorting them into your condition. You're gonna take that condition, have piles ready to go. You're gonna start scanning them in. As you'll see this little box, you can start scanning. It'll show the ISBN code once you've done it. And then once that's completed, you decide on a price that you would like to list it at. There are other options you can select, um, different processes that you can do but Workflow C works the best for me and I think it makes the most sense. So once you get yourself set up and you familiarize yourself with this software, you're ready to list, you're ready to go. You can start making money on Amazon using this software. In the next video, I'll be taking you through the process of actually listing your books for an Amazon shipment. I will show you how to competitively price and just how to overall use this software from beginning to end. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below with any questions you may have or DM me at vbrandonrobles on Instagram. Stay hustling, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.